Demon Primark of Nurgle incoming, stronger, tougher and more deadly than before. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd just take a look at the new leaked data sheet for Primark Mortarion, who as with a lot of the Death Guard Codex seems to be getting a tune-up. Let's take a look at what his new stats are going to be in the new Codex. So this datasheet, as is often the case with new codexes, came out in packaging alongside Mortarion. We don't know the full extent of his abilities as to whether or not his other special rules are going to be changed at all, but we can see here that a bunch of stats have been altered. Currently, in 8th and 9th edition, Mortarion was initially very powerful, and still remains an absolute dominating force in close combat if he can get there. His main weakness just being that he's fairly hard to hide from enemy firepower, needs to get up close as soon as possible, and it means that he is liable to getting just gone straight off the board, losing you around about a quarter of your army in the process. Fortunately though, that's going to be a lot harder to do, mainly because his toughness is going up from 7 to 8. I think it does kind of make sense to me, he's tougher than Magnus now, and as a demon prince of Nurgle rather than Zinch, I can imagine him being tougher. Going up to 8 is a really significant toughness jump. It means that Bolters are only going to be half as effective against him as they were before, which is absolutely massive, and he's going to be a lot stronger against standard anti-tank weapons, things like autocannons and multi-melters, both of which just took a very heavy nerf when they're trying to gun him down. Not a bad boost at all, and I'm sure there'll be some instances where that saves him in a game and allows him to get into close combat next turn. Even if not though, it should allow him to soak up more firepower than he would have otherwise, which is no bad thing if the enemy really wants to remove him. Next up, his attacks have risen from 6 to 7, but this is somewhat cancelled out as he likely won't be giving himself any re-rolls this edition, similar to the way that Space Marine Captains can't give themselves re-rolls anymore due to them not being core. Certainly not guaranteed of course, he might have some sort of special rule to allow him to re-roll hits, and he should be re-rolling once to wound anyway as he does have a plague weapon. Silence, his enormous scythe has seen a damage buff as well, it's gone from damage d6 to damage d3 plus 3, so an average of 3.5, jumping to an average of 5. It's not 100% confirmed if it also has its anti-horde mode as well. We'll have to wait for the codex or a full data sheet to ensure that it is still there, but they don't often include multiple attack modes in these cut-down data sheets, as they really are just a simple one to go in with the model. I think the damage boost will be very meaningful. It'll mean that he can split his attacks between multiple targets and still have a very decent chance of killing multiple things. Against a Toughness 8 vehicle with his old profile with his re-rolls, he would average around about 20 wounds on a Toughness 8 vehicle, and now he'll average around about 28, even if he has lost his re-roll 1 to hit. It's going to be overkill against most things, but it means that he'll be able to tangle with Imperial Knights and multiple characters at once a lot more easily. Finally, the only nerf on the datasheet is to the Lantern Pistol, which is only 12 inch range rather than 18 inches now, and is just one solid anti-tank shot. I suspect that its special rules might have changed somewhat, at the moment if you fire through multiple units then each unit along the line gets a hit. It might well have changed to something like each model along the line gets a hit, so it might well be buffed for all we know. Overall though, it's very hard to see how these couldn't be a big buff to the Demon Primarch of the Death Guard. More damage in melee, and perhaps more importantly that extra point of toughness, it's just going to make him a much more credible threat on the table. It's going to be interesting to see what sort of synergies and buffs he can get with the new Death Guard Codex. So let me know what you think of the datasheet down in the video description below. Feel free to subscribe to Auspets Tactics if you'd like to see more Death Guard coverage, we'll certainly be looking at the Codex when it's out. And if you've been enjoying the videos quite a bit recently, I would just like to mention that the channel has a Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. If you'd like to see new videos early, get to vote on what comes next for the channel, and get the chance to win things in multiple prize draws, then feel free to check it out, the link's down in the video description below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, I'll hope to see you guys next time.